Today I'm converting a freezer into a cooler. This is a pizza chain and they want to serve fresh food and no more frozen food. So we got a cooler condensing unit up here. Compressors over there. And I have to drain the old mineral base oil out of it and put POE oil in it. And I took all the freezer, the freezer evaporator coil out. And this is the cooler. I had to put that in and clean this up. I have to change the expansion valve. I took the head off and I'm just going to change the power assembly on it. It's an R22. I'm going to put a 404 power assembly on it. Tonnage should be the same. There's the old uh, equipment that was in here. I had to take it apart to get it off because I'm by myself today. And that was a little bit of work. But uh, I let it down by ropes. And that's what I'm doing now is it's drilling the holes up here. I measured it to meet the uh, feet on it. And I have to drill the front holes. And then I have to run the pipes up here to the compressor and the electric line down to it. This should be easier because we're just dealing with a um, temperature control and solenoid valve and a uh, fan motor. So that should be fairly easy. I have to do is uh, have to drill this these two. I just drilled that hole, two holes in the back, and then just have to drill this hole. And I, I can drop the bolts down. Just show you how I I didn't lift this up I didn't have help lifting this up let me show you what I did I used stack these are they put dough in them they gotta be cleaned anyhow but I just stacked them up over here set the unit on it got the bolts usually you have to have two guys you know one guy holding it marking it and let it down then drill the holes but I was able to do it by myself Okay, I've got the um, suction line piped from here up to the top. I put a P-trap in it for oil return. It's kind of, um, it's been a standard over the years to put a P-trap in. What happens is when the system shuts off, the oil will go to the lowest part of the system and reservoir here. And when it starts up, the oil gets pushed back up to the compressor. Um, and Good to, always good to put a P-trap on a refrigeration system. Okay, what I'm doing now is I'm draining the old mineral-based oil out of the system. And to be careful here. I'm going to get this to be the lowest point. I'm going to take a couple minutes to get it all out. Once I get the mineral based oil out, then I can put, I can measure how much came out and put that much back in. It'll take a little while.
Okay, I got the oil out, and if you can see it down there, and this is how I measure it. I, it's a Folgers coffee can. I think it's Folgers. Yeah, I use the rings to measure it, and I'm two and a half down, so I'm about here. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, put P.O.E. polyester oil in it. I'll fill the I'll dump this out. I'll fill the can up to there, and then I'll pump it into the this compressor. That's how I change the oil. <coughs> Okay, I got the. Uh, I've got to change the power head and the expansion valve. Took that. I ran the refrigeration lines. I put a P trap in the system. And the electric line comes down. I got on the drain out tomorrow. Got the refrigeration line run all the way to the compressor and the liquid dryer. Now normally the cyclass goes after the dryer, the liquid line goes that way, but um, I put this whole unit near the edge of the box here so it can be serviced right from the top of the ladder. The old unit was all the way in the back and you'd have to come up take the ceiling panels apart and crawl back there. It was difficult to get at everything. That light worked out pretty good. It's an LED light. I paid like nineteen twenty dollars for it. At, I think it was Lowe's or Best Buy's. Not Best Buy's. Um, Home Depot. One, one. I think it might have been Home Depot. But here I'm going to put the oil in the compressor now. I'm going to go directly in it, and I have to me measure the oil, and it was. It was two down, two and a half down. So I'm going to put the same amount in. It's POE oil. Pretty good oil pump. I've had I have this this brand that I can't think of name. Thermal, I think, is a brand. Used them for years. Tomorrow, I'll pull a vacuum on the system. I've got a new dryer filter in there. Good to keep that clean. And I put it right into the stub. Right here. Now I'm gonna put the straighter back in. And it's, uh, this is my pressure control. I'll, I'm going to hook up the pressure control to this. I'll do that tomorrow. i got to paste it and put tape on it. Uh, it's got a straight valve in it, so the system's all closed up. I've got to connect the wires tomorrow. I'm going to connect the electric to the box for the fans. And i got to bring the electric down. 
was three phase this is a single phase so I'm going to do is use two of the legs and just tape off the third leg or just disconnect it so it's not you know a hazard it'll hook up the ground and uh, and the uh, there's a the black uh, a black and a white there are for the 110 volt circuit it comes from the the circuit breaker panel and 110 volt is for the uh, evaporator fans and the solenoid and the um, uh, temperature control that'll be downstairs that's the 110 control circuit and this is your this is your time clock I got a Paragon Digital I'm not that familiar with this this uh, brand time clock but I, I'll figure it out can't be that much different and uh, pressure control pressure you know the system pumps down the pressure drops in the system and it shuts off the, the compressor and maybe pressure control let's see what those are too okay I'll hook that up tomorrow